We are already time traveling into the future, one second at a time. Problem though, is we are prisoners of our own present, forever transitioning between our inaccessible past and our unknowable future. So you will always age at one second per second. The question is, what is the rate that you are aging compared to places around you? Because not everyone experiences the same timeline. Not everyone experiences the same rate of progress of time. If you're in a strong gravitational field, time ticks more slowly for you. If you travel fast, time ticks more slowly for you relative to others looking on. That's, that's all we've got. However, if you can make a wormhole, there's a way to time travel through the wormhole, but we don't have wormholes yet. Stephen Hawking suggested if you go back in time to your own timeline, you might accidentally disrupt your timeline, prevent your parents from meeting and then you're never born so that you don't exist to go back and disrupt your own timeline. So that's a paradox. So Stephen Hawking said we can't have these paradox. So maybe one day we will discover something he called a time travel conjecture, which prevents us from traveling in time just to avoid that, that very outcome.